Hello all, welcome back to another video. For today's video, we will be demonstrating a publicly available c -sharp project on GitHub. It is a project that provides reverse and bind shell functionalities over different protocols. This can be useful if you want minimum functionalities in your payload and only wish to execute system commands over the shell. As shown in the screen, this is the c -sharp project that we will be demonstrating in today's video. This project provides reverse and bind shell over TCP, UDP, ICMP and DNS. Alright, let's copy the code and hop over to our Windows machine and compile it with Visual Studio. Let's create a new console app project. Once that is done, we can simply paste in the source code that we have copied from the GitHub project. Awesome. The compilation works without any errors. Let's try to execute the binary. As shown in the output, the program allows reverse and bind shell over several protocols. We will be showing the TCP and UDP ones for this video. Let's hop over to our Kali machine and set up a listener first. Okay, now let's execute the binary. TCP connect to our Kali IP address followed by the port number. Awesome, it worked. We can execute system commands over the established reverse shell with no problems. Since this program provides minimum functionalities, it is expected that it will not be detected by Windows Defender, so this is awesome. Now, let's try out the UDP reverse shell. Let's set up the netcat listener with the dash U flag to indicate UDP. Let's execute the program on our windows. We need to specify the UDP connect instead of TCP. Awesome, it worked again. The commands executed should be communicated via the UDP protocol instead. We can quickly verify this with Wireshark on our Kali machine. Let's fire up Wireshark and execute the ipconfig command. We can immediately see some UDP traffic flowing through Wireshark. We can follow the UDP stream to analyze it. As shown in the screen, the IP command and its output are indeed via the UDP protocol. So this is pretty awesome. This c -sharp project seems like a good start if you are looking at something with bare minimum functionalities and only want a simple, straightforward reverse shell program. In this video, we have only demonstrated the TCP and UDP protocols. Feel free to explore it on your own and try out the ICMP and DNS protocols, which seem really interesting as well. Alright all, this is it to today's video, a quick and short one. All credits belong to the author of the tool and the reference to the GitHub page will be available in this video's description. I hope you all have enjoyed the content and find it to be useful. I will see you all soon in the next one. Thanks all. Bye.